These are sketches of Mauricio Torres in the courtroom today. He was emotional and cried during opening statements and also broke down sobbing in the courtroom when he heard a 911 call from the night his six-year-old son Isaiah died. Attorneys on both sides laid out their cases in opening statements. Then the attorneys for the state started questioning witnesses on the stand. We do want to warn you, some of the details you're about to hear may be disturbing to some viewers. The jury heard from two of Isaiah's kindergarten teachers who testified they started taking photos and documenting the suspected child abuse Isaiah endured. One of the teachers testified she called the Arkansas Child Abuse Hotline, but no one ever followed up with her on Isaiah's case. The jury also heard the 911 call from the night Isaiah died, which was when Torres started sobbing. A Bella Vista paramedic who responded to the home the night Isaiah died took the stand. So did the Mercy Bella Vista emergency room doctor who pronounced Isaiah dead. The jury saw graphic photos of Isaiah's body after he was pronounced dead in March of 2015. A former Bella Vista police detective took the stand and the jury started to listen to the first interview Mauricio Torres did with police. Over the next few days, the jury will hear all of the interviews he did with Bella Vista police and the Benton County Sheriff's Office after Isaiah died. In Benton County, Emma Claybrook, 4029 News.